Hi, Zilda. Ivy Messers Learning Center and IvyMessers.com. And today we're going to look at the 20 second question from the Digital SAT Test 1, Module 2. It's from a Blue Book app, the harder set of reading and writing questions. Number 22 reads Which choice completes a text that conforms to the conventions of standard English? A couple of things I see right away among the answer choices is you've got a comma before and after the though, um, one has a colon, um, one has a period. So there's probably going to be a comma splice here. Answer choice B, I'm going to say, is probably a comma splice. Um, and then you'd be, dis if it is, um, answer choice D is a run on sentence, just a few sentences, two independent clauses together. And then though, you're probably not used to it coming at the end of an independent clause, but a colon could combine an independent clause. And if though relates the sentence it's in to the sentence before, then it should come at the end. And answer choice C, it comes at the beginning. And on the tougher questions, we do see it at the end. So my guess is it's going to be answer choice A. Let's look at the sentence itself. In 1943, in the midst of World War II, mathematics professor Grace Hopper was recruited by the U.S. military to help the war effort by say, solving complex equations. Hopper's subsequent career would involve more than just equations though. As a pioneering computer programmer, Hopper would help usher in the digital age. So first off, we want to see if we have two independent clauses here. So I'm going to leave the though out when I'm checking for independent clauses. Hopper's subsequent career would involve more than just equations. Could that be its own sentence? Yes, it could. Subject is career and the verb is would involve and it is a complete thought. Now we look after though. As a pioneering computer programmer, Hopper would help usher in the digital age. Could that be its own sentence? Yes, it can. So what's that mean? Answer choice B is in fact a comma splice. We've got a comma combining two independent clauses, so that's going to be wrong. And answer choice D is just a few sentences. It's just two independent clauses in a row and um, no punctuation at all. We would, we would say that there, those are both types of run-on sentences. And if we look at answer choice A and C, now I've got to decide, is this sentence relating it to um, the though, is it relating the sentence it appears in to the sentence before or the sentence after? And so in the first sentence, we've got that Hopper helped by solving complex equations. So if her career involves more than just equations. It's showing a contrast between the first sentence and the second sentence of the paragraph. Therefore, answer choice A is going to be correct. Those should be in this independent clause. If it related the second to the third sentence, then the though would be um, in the beginning here. C is wrong. So Hopper's subsequent career would involve more than just equations. It gives you an example of how it involve, uh, involves more than just equations. It's computer programming, and that's not where the contrast is. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You could share it with someone who has difficulty with identifying comma splices or um, does not know that a colon could combine two independent clauses. That's how it's used here in a, or that a word like though, however, for example, those could all appear at the end of the sentence. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ECT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one minute if you want. Take time. Have a great day.